with e-commerce expected to be 5.5 trillion revenue in 2022, a lot of revenue could be lost due to performance issues. An e-commerce website earning $100,000 a day could potentially lose up to $2.5 million a year with the one second of delay. That is a huge performance impact. Performance testing for e-commerce applications is uh, very important because uh, it loads lots of assets into the backend and people nowadays they are using mobile devices for their e-commerce shopping and all so it directly uh, generates revenue for you uh, and not only e-commerce but nowadays if you see the banking institution finance news domains so all these things are directly uh, uh, you know uh, uh, generates their revenue from the websites so the performance of those websites are very very critical nowadays so this is a large client and the most of revenue for them is coming from uh, e-commerce and like their presence is like global they are like almost every continent and they were going through an architectural change and they really wanted to test uh, if that architectural can change uh, can uh, handle the performance of the applications so the way software was developed uh, was a multi-vendor approach it means uh, like for the front-end development there was a different vendor for back-end development there was a different vendor for managing a whole infrastructure, there was a different vendor. And for testing, there was a different vendor. So uh, if you have you know, dependency on multiple vendors, it becomes really challenging to do uh, you know, end-to-end -end performance testing of your applications because you have to uh, uh, deal with different, different teams for different, different things. So that was a bit challenging. Uh, it happens uh, lots of time clients, they don't want their production process to be public. Hence, uh, they chose to be anonymous uh, for these kind of case studies. We used Octopuff for uh, as a load testing uh, tool uh, because, like, it had the capacity and capability to deliver the project. And for the monitoring, we were using New Relic uh, that was from our client's uh, infrastructure already set it up, and uh, we were monitoring the system. And for workload model creation, we used Google Analytics. Uh, we got data from uh, this tool. Once we got uh, the numbers, like what should be the load and all, then we came up with our strategy. So we discussed it with the client that we are going to do first 100% load to see how the new architecture of the application behave under 100% of the load. After that was completed, we increased load to 150% with the back office load. We saw how application performs. It was, uh, I mean, I would say it was, application was responding well and then client wanted us uh, to know when the system breaks and then we performed a stress test on the application so these were basically three uh, kind of tests which we performed we performed it like multiple times to check the consistency of the application yeah so actually we did a quite of uh, different different scenarios for them and uh, since they were interested to know how many uh, users their application can handle we planned a stress test for them and we chose one particular location to put all the stress on the application and we could figure out after uh, some time let's say after 20 minutes of our testing we could see there is a throttling point a saturation point where we were increasing the load but throughput was not increasing and we were able to correlate this uh, behavior with the cpu throttling we could see at around the same time cpu was not able to process you know more requests and we drilled it down we could see there was uh, garbage collection was happening and around 35% of CPU was used in garbage collection which is uh, you know uh, CPU is should be used to process your application but uh, they had some default configuration of G1 garbage collection and that was causing the problem so we uh, conveyed these things to our clients that okay you need to um, uh, rectify your uh, garbage collection thing so they agreed on that and apart from that we found out few errors uh, which we were able to generate under high load and like developers were shocked to see okay even there these kind of error exist in our application so those were two great findings i would say which we discovered during our testing and we presented it to the client so they agreed on these findings i think basically there are two reasons uh, client chose us the first reason being uh, our specialty in uh, and expertise in performance testing and engineering services and the second thing is our relationship with the client so uh, we have been serving them since last seven years and we have done over 40 projects for them i think that is the reason they chose us 
the client was not confident how their application will perform after this architectural change. It was a little bit complex project, I would say, because there were lots of involvement and there was no clear vision where to go. And when we entered into the scene and we did performance testing, we did various kind of tests and we made sure that your application is good, it's more performant. And we gave them that kind of confidence in their development process, their whole end-to-end -end software process. That application is reliable, scalable and performant.